welcome back. This is episode two of Every Shot. My name's Ollie, I'm a one handicapper, and I'm playing the back nine at Morgan Golf Club today. Here I am on the 10th tee. I've got 201 yards to the pin. Um, it's slightly uphill, but it's a really strong wind today, and it's downwind. So I've decided I'm going to drop from a 6-iron to a 7-iron. I'm going to try and hit it a little bit higher. I'm going to try and carry it all the way back to the flag. First put today, straight out to the course. Let's see how we get on it. Oh, how did that not break? Middle of the hole. Easy par to start, not a bad effort. Right, here I am on the 11th hole. I've got a four iron, I just want to hit the uh, fairway today. Uh, my goal here is to end up in the scoring zone, which for me is anywhere from 130 yards in to about 40 yards. I'm very comfortable from that zone to give me the best chance to make a birdie. Uh, I could smack my driver on here today um, as it's downwind. It's not really course management that, but a bit of fun. <laughs> I'll do that in another video, let's see how it goes. But today we're gonna to try and play course management. We're gonna get in that scoring zone, try and make as many birdies as we can. Really good strike. Wind's just got it a bit, so it's gone down the left side. Right, I've just missed the fairway left. Um, I've got 91 yards into the pin. It is downwind, but it is uphill. So I'm going to try and play this about 85 yards. Hopefully the wind will help me out a bit. So we'll see how we get on. So from this range, using my 58 degree wedge, I'm using the Dave Peltz wedge clock face system. Me and my coach, Simon Fletcher. Morgan Golf Club have been working on pretty hard just recently. So all I'm going to do here is take a nine o'clock swing with a wedge. You don't actually hit it. The idea here is we just turn and turn. Hit it well, but is it the right club? A bit short. I've been working a lot on my chipping and putting just recently, so all I'm doing here is I want to keep it low to the ground. There's nothing in my way. I don't need to go high. Just a, a risk I don't want to take. So I've got my little eight iron here, playing it off the back of my stance, and I'm just gonna try my best to roll it in pretty close. Perfect. I've just started using this line it up tool. It takes quite a lot to get used to. That looks really good behind, but now I'm over it, looks like it's aiming left. Just got to trust it. As it happens, it was all right. I just uh, pulled the putt, so terrible. <laughs> okay, here we've got 173 to the pin. It's normally a seven iron, but it's into the wind. So I'm taking the six iron, I'm just gonna hit one nice and smooth down the middle. If the ball moves to the left, it's a bonus. If it stays straight, we'll be pin eye. Hopefully I have a chance for birdie. It's a great shot. Wind's just got it a bit. Quite big. A uh, little up and down. My 58 degree wedge. Playing it back in my stance to touch. Got to bump it up. Not a bad shot. It's a little bit strong, but we'll take it. Slightly downhill. Right to left. Just outside the right, I've got it. Whew. 
up and down from nowhere. We'll take that. Beautiful. Slightly off the toe, but that'll do. Right then, that last drive we just hit. The captain at Golf Club just pulled up. What to watch, so I just, just teed off and hit it. <laughs> so uh, here we've got 83 yards into the pin. I want to play it 75 yards. So I've got my 58 degree and doing my about a nine o'clock wedge swing. Again, don't really hit this, we just use our rhythm. Good timing. So it goes. Oh, dead bounce. I actually played that last shot pretty much as I wanted to do, because normally you would pitch it short here and you just bounce on that front edge and it'll just keep trickling down. Um, it just stopped. So what I'm gonna do here is, some people would put it, but I like to chip and run. So I'm gonna use my old trusty eight iron, get it off my back foot. Just gonna try and run it over that edge and let it trickle down to the hole. Just like that. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> so it's just run on a smidge. Um, all in all, not bad. Try landing it up again. Um, again, this is new to me, so I've, you know I've just got to practice lining up, trusting it. So then, on a competition day, it'll just happen naturally. Um, I do I do like doing it, but it's just taking some getting used to. Another up and down. I'm going to change the channel to uh, the up and down king. Right, we're on the uh, 14th tee. It's very sunny in, out there, so not going to really see where the ball's going to go, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is I've teed it down a bit lower. I'm taking a driver, I'm aiming down the left hand side of the fairway and I'm going to try and play a nice little low cut, try and keep it under the wind. And it's an absolute bullet. Beautiful shot, really. Uh, it didn't cut back as much as I wanted it to, but under the circumstances of that wind, very happy. Right then, a bit of luck there. Uh, we're in 128 yards to the pin. So we're in the scoring zone, which is a good thing. So I've got a nice little wedge. It is sat down in the rough, and there is quite a bit of wind to contend with. So not very straightforward, 130 yard shot, but we are gonna give it our best, and that's all we can do. I don't even know where that's gone. We should be down there by the green. I'm gonna say up there by the green, because it's uphill. Let's see what we get. Here we go again, we missed another green. We're in the front left bunker. Um, I'm literally just gonna try and play the distance. Open the face a little bit here. Not a lot of sand, so it might bounce. We'll see what happens. Got it three quarters of the way there. Not bad, really. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to find where high in the low point is. I'm turning it into a clock face. So that would be definitely left to right, right to left, straight down, straight up. Because I'm coming in this section, it's uphill, left to right. That's my first thing I would do. Second, the second thing I'd do would be uh, close my eyes and pray to God it goes in <laughs> for another up and down. Uh, I think it's going to turn up quite a bit then, well it should, with the slope. Maybe a good foot and a half left. See what happens, eh? 
wind's coming off the left as well, so it might help it a bit more. What I'm going to do now is just play the distance. Is it a nice stroke? Just missed it on the high side, but a good putt. Another bogey, two over. Okay, so one of the comments from the last video was what my feels when I try and hit a long drive. Well, I like to see the ball up a bit higher, so that's all the basic stuff. So the feels behind it is, I literally try and get my weight on my right side, load that back leg, use a bit of ground force, and. Uh, absolutely smash it a bit like this you're welcome okay so just for reference this hole is 406 yards off the yellows and I've got a nice little 66 yard shot into the green so it wasn't a bad smack for a standard course driver. So I've got my little 58 degree wedge. Going down the grip a tad. I'm going to do a nine o'clock swing. It's about right. Hope I have a chance for a birdie. Beautiful. Birdie putt, I'm going to play it just off the right side. Ugh. Easy par. Okay, here we are. We are currently two over par. I am on the 16th tee. Got 159 yards in. Wind's coming quite strong off the left. I'm using an eight iron. Play it back in my stance a bit to try and uh, take the wind out. Just play a nice rhythm, really. Don't try and hit it too hard in the wind, otherwise it'll spin too much. Not a bad shot. We we're just slightly long. I thought I just caught that uh, back edge. Um, bit of a chip to get it close. It's quite rough here, so I've just got to carry it to the green this time. I think when it lands, it's going to move right and then it's going to move back to the left, so I'm going to pretty much aim straight at it. I've got a little nine iron. See how we get on. Stayed pretty straight there. Easy three. Right, we're on the 17th hole. It's 333 yards. It's straight into wind today, so it's going to be playing a lot longer. Uh, so I've teamed my driver down. I'm just going to try and control a ball under the wind, down the fairway. That is good. <laughs> That's a great ball flight. I mean, I'm in the right rough, but what a great ball flight into the wind. So this Mizuno SDG 220 is incredible. Right, we've got 67 yards in again, but it's into the wind and it's slightly uphill. I've got my 58 again, because it's uh, in this deep rough. Uh, I'm just going to commit to the yardage, play a nice smooth swing. I'm not going to try and hit it too hard because of the wind. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. This is more of like a 10 o'clock, 10.30 backswing. Just a nice rhythm. Looks good. That looks good. That went high. 
I think I played, definitely played the wrong shot there. It was definitely too high. Should have played a medium ball flight, but got away with it. Easy par. Last hole, par four. Um, green's a bit close, so I'm gonna hit driver as it's into wind, but I'm gonna go down my grip just to take a lot off it. I want it more like a three wood distance, really. But I don't have one, so manufacture a shot. Oh, it's at the hole. Yes, we're on the green. Hit the green on the last. <laughs> okay, so we've got a little putt for eagle. The last hole. This will be very nice. Oh, right guys. Thanks for joining us again. Really appreciate you being here. Uh, if you're new here, like and subscribe, it absolutely means the world to me. A big thank you to everybody who subscribed off my first video. Um, I had 100 odd subscribers off that one video so far. Um, honestly, it means the world, so thank you very much.